Let's talk about what to do if you have the wrong color space, or you need to switch to a different one. Welcome back to the Visual Center. I talk a lot about color space with my students, and I talk about it on this channel as well, and I talk about the importance of choosing the right one. But you may run into a situation where you might need to change it. In Photoshop, there are two options for you to choose from. Assign Profile, and Convert to Profile. Warning. Warning. Now I need to warn you, this is going to get a bit technical. So if you don't want to understand the difference between the two, and you just want to know what to do, jump to this time in the video. But if you'd like to understand what's going on, keep watching. Okay, so it might seem that these two options are doing the same thing, but behind the scenes, they're doing things quite differently. As a foundational principle, we need to remember that in the digital world, colors are assigned a number value which relates to how they are plotted on a three-dimensional graph. Let's start with Assign Profile. What Assign Profile does is to maintain the number values or the plot points of your colors. As a simplified example, let's take a look at this graph. Let's say this represents your current color space, and this is a sample of a color inside that color space, and its current coordinates in this space are here. Now let's say you want to change to a larger color space. If you use Assign Profile, it will want to maintain your number values, or keep the coordinates the same, which would be here. However, since the color space got bigger, the color at that coordinate is not quite the same. Now let's bring Convert to Profile into the mix. What Convert to Profile does is try to keep your colors the same visually by moving the coordinates to match the new space. Since the color space got bigger, the actual color we sampled moved up to here. So Photoshop converts the color number to match these new coordinates in order to keep the colors the same. So when would you use either of these? You might be thinking, well, I always want my colors to be the same, so I'll use Convert to Profile always. And in most cases, yes, that's exactly what you should do. Most of the time, if you need to change your color space, use Convert to Profile. But what about Assign Profile? When would you ever use that? Well, a majority of the time, Assign Profile is used when a file doesn't have a color space to begin with. And this happens a lot when scanning an image with a flatbed scanner or with a film scanner, or if you're not using Lightroom, sometimes it can happen with RAW files. RAW files do not natively have a color space, it's only when working with them in software that they get assigned a color space. In these cases where color really hasn't been processed yet, and you haven't really become invested in what the colors look like, you would use Assign Profile, and any shift in the colors really wouldn't matter. So, in summary, if you don't want your colors to change, use Convert to Profile. And this is the option you'll probably choose most of the time. But, in those occasional instances where you really haven't started editing yet, you can use Assign Profile. Now, let me show you how to make these changes in Photoshop. We'll start with Assign Profile, because that's the simplest. I'll open this file, and here you can see that this file does not have a color space assigned. This was a negative scanned on a film scanner. This is actually the first place you'll run into Assign Profile. Photoshop is giving you the option to assign a profile now, or you can assign it later. Most of the time, I'll assign it now, but for this video, I'm going to leave it and show you the next place you can use Assign Profile. So once the file is open, you'll go to the Edit menu and down to Assign Profile. In this window, you'll have a couple of options. First is Don't Color Manage, if you want to continue without a color space. Assign Working RGB. This will assign the profile you set as your default in your color settings. I go over that in this linked video. And the last option allows you to choose a specific color space to assign from the dropdown. Now once you assign this profile, you may or may not see a shift in your colors. That'll depend on which color space you use, as well as the colors that exist inside the file. Let's open a different file now and show you how to use Convert to Profile. If I open this file from my daughter, I'll get a similar pop-up to the other. But this one is telling me that this file has a color space, but it doesn't match the default I set in my color settings, and it is giving me the option to leave it or to convert it. Let's leave it for now so I can show you where to do it after it's opened. Again, we'll go up to the Edit menu 
and down to Convert to Profile. This window is going to show you what your starting profile is, and then a drop-down of what you can change it to. This time, as you change profiles, you shouldn't see much of a change. Now, not all colors are going to convert perfectly. So there are some rare instances where you'll see a color shift, even when using Convert to Profile. But that is how you convert or assign profiles or spaces in Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you ever have a question, please reach out to us and ask. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.